All right, welcome back to Franciscan University Presents. No, oh, wait. No, that's not, that's, that's not, my line. That's, that's, that's your my show, line. that's your show. This is Live the Faith with Paradisa Day, and that man is you. And we are so blessed to have Father Dave Pavanka back uh, for another series within that man is you. And I understand you recently traveled to Iraq. I did, actually, first off, the blessing's mine. What you guys are doing is, is just great. And, and the fact that you even consider letting me be a part of it, blessing's mine. With that being said, yeah, I went to Iraq. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> so, uh, Franciscan University is working with the Archbishop in Erbil, Iraq, and mm. it's crazy. He wants to build a Catholic university, so he reached wow. out to us and said, "Would you be willing to help us?" And I just, I thought it was just a great idea. So it's funny. Last, I guess, this whole year has been just. A mess. I guess with Zoom, you could be the president of both universities. No, no, let's just let this my story. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll one, shut up. one is enough. One is enough. <laughs> but uh, so we did this. We signed this little agreement last year, and my mom literally texts me right after that, and she goes, promise me you're not going to Iraq. And I said, uh, I can't promise that. So, so Archbishop, so when the Holy Father was announced that he was gonna come, he invited me to come to Iraq. And I said, yes, but I didn't tell my mom and dad until the last minute. So I talked to my dad like two days before I left. I said, dad, I'm going to Iraq. I said, why don't you tell mom? And he's like, are you sure you don't want to tell her? I said, no, Dad, I think you should tell her. So I talked to her the next day. The first thing she says is, you chicken. And you couldn't even tell me yourself. Um, Mark, it was the really one of the most profound experiences I've, I've had in a long, long time. This is a population that, that has suffered tremendously. So it's the northern part of Iraq, largely where um, ISIS uh, came in and just destroyed family, destroyed Christian villages. Uh, 10 years ago, there was about a million mm. Christians in Iraq. Now there's about 200,000. Wow. Through refugees and, and, and martyrdom and death. I mean, I asked the Archbishop, he's just, he's just such a great guy. I said, you know, how many priests do you know that have died that were killed? And he's like. Just naming them off. I mean, it, was un- it was just unbelievable. We, they use, we use the word discipleship. They use the word discipleship. It means something it means different. Something different. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. understand the reception of, of the Holy Father was, was met with two different, the Christian community met him one yeah. way, and then the radicals met him another way. Yeah. Can you describe that? Well, this, is just, this was just crazy, all right? So a couple of years ago, ISIS in a little town called Mos- Mosul, which is just north of where we were about 30 minutes, destroyed just destroyed and they destroyed this church and ISIS stood in this church and threatened the Pope so we're gonna kill the Pope we're gonna cut off his head and we're gonna bring it to this place so uh, actually the the Iraqi government Vatican were saying yeah maybe you shouldn't come at this time it's not a great time and Pope Francis was like I'm coming like when he says that uh, the the shepherd needs to smell like his sheep Mm, he does that he gave a talk in the very place that they wow. threatened his life. How about that for courage? Yeah. Well, and this woman said, you know, she said, I never imagined I would be able to come back to my village and to be at this place. The thought that the Pope would come here. Mm. I've, Mark, I've been to 50 papal, papal audiences. I still kind of get emotional about it, mm. actually. The experience when he drove in, in this Christian community near Bill, they closing mass, we get so accustomed to the Pope, right? He does, he comes to the country all the time. They never imagined. I, I never felt more Catholic, more united. Honestly, the, the Holy Father and I get some time, that there are some, some struggles and some people have a hard time with some things. Okay, sure, I get sure, that, sure, I get sure, that, sure. right? But at this place, he was what united us. Mm-hmm. It was, yeah, it was really, really profound. Praise God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's pleasure. come back and talk a little bit more about that uh, for another session. That's cool. I'd love awesome. to. Awesome. Thank Great. you, Father. We'll see you in a couple weeks.